Hey guys and welcome back to the online learning space. Today we're going to look at how to create this uh, easy way to carry our headphones around with us in our bags or maybe in our pockets and we're going to design this in 123D. Now we've got all the measurements here so we'll try to use that as a base but if you want to do any modifications uh, you can do that as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up 123D design. We will move into our top view okay and will give us enough space to actually start this project so the first thing we, we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool and we're going to pick a point and we're going to draw a rectangle now this rectangle is going to be 64 by 15 so now we need to draw this side of the musical note so we're going to grab our sketch rectangle tool again we're going to click on the sketch and we're going to drag out a, another rectangle 55 mils by 12. Okay, so now to make this musical note we need a few circles in there. So we're going to go and grab our circle tool. We're going to click on the sketch and we're going to click as this to be the center of the circle. So the first circle will have a diameter of 30 mils and the next circle will pick that same point will have a diameter of 16 mils. So that's one half of the musical note. We then have to repeat the same process on this side. So again, same thing. Sketch rectangle, let's click on our shape We'll start at this point over here so we will go down 55 and it will be by 12 we now need to put our circles on this side of our musical note so we grab our circle tool we will start off with the first circle which will be a diameter of 30 and our next circle which will have a diameter of 16. So now we have a good base for this design. We will need to trim out the certain parts that we don't need and uh, we can use that using the trim tool. But before we, we do that, we need a little space that we can wrap our headphones around. So we're gonna create a little box in there, which will be uh, 10 mils by five mils. So if we go and grab our rectangle tool again and we click on our sketch, now we want to use this line as a starting point. What you want to do is you want to draw a rectangle in there, 10 by five. So we have something like that. And we, we're going to repeat that on this side as well. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a cutout that will go into the center right here. Now, the total distance is 64. This side over here is 12, and this side over here is 12. So if we do the math and we you know, subtract all of it, uh, 64 minus 24 leaves us with 40, so that distance there will be 40. And then if we take off the size of the cutout, which will be 14, we're left with 26. So it will be 13 mils on one side, 13 mils on the other. Now, an easy way to do this is to grab the polyline tool and we're just going to click on our sketch and we're going to click on the line and I'm just going to drag out 13 mils. Now this will give us a starting point for our cutout. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab our rectangle tool. I'm going to get to the end of this line, draw up and I'm going to click inside the shape. And then I'm going to draw it out 14 by 5 mils. We can see that the point over here, 13, is equal to this being absolute in the middle. So once you've done that, you can get rid of these lines because you don't need them anymore. So anyways, this is our basic shape for our, our little earphone carrier. 
So now what we have to do is we have to trim all the parts that we don't need. And so we do this by going to our trim tool and we click on the shape, okay? And then we get rid of the parts that we don't need. So now, once we have a nice shape for our headphone carrier, we then can start to extrude it, okay? So what we have to do is we have to go to Construct, Extrude, and we'll extrude to about five mils. So now if you rotate your mouse around, you can see that it has some depth. Now, we're nearly finished. The only other thing that we have to do is we're going to create a chamfer on these headphone holes and that will give it a, a, a nicer look. If you want to change the values, you know, you can add, you know, more depth if you really want to. So to add a chamfer, what we need to do is we need to go into the modify section and then we press on chamfer. Now you want to press on the holes for the headphone and once the arrow comes up you can actually see it chamfering so we're going to chamfer this to a distance of four mils and we're going to do the same for the other side so we're going to click on the top circle and we're going to put it as a distance of four so once you've completed that, you're pretty much ready for 3D printing. And, you know, if you're having a little bit of problems with your earphones actually fitting, you may have to in, uh, decrease the size of uh, that circle. And so instead of it being uh, having a diameter of 16, you might need to change it to something else. But that's a basic run at how to create a easy way to carry your headphones. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.